may think, no, this is not an egg song. This is uh, the evil streak of my birds. They're laughing at me. You see, I'm taking apart their roost. And this particular roost right here has a screw right here. I got it almost totally unscrewed. I'm having to do that by sticking my hand inside like this. Thank goodness I have little hands and wrists and continuing to loosen it up. I just want to get it out of the board, the bottom board, so I can, then I'll use the drill to, to totally get it out of there. So I'm having to use a screwdriver. And twice now, I have dropped the screwdriver down there into their litter. And Laddie just thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. He's just going, ha, 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 you're going to have to fish, fish that out of there. You have to crawl up in our poo litter. Well, I don't think their floor would hold my weight. But luckily, aha, I have a rake. Now, if I cannot drop it again, um, I ran in there and raked it out and wiped it off. And so he starts laughing, and then they all start laughing. Neve was sitting here, facing out. Marigold was sitting here, and they all just started laughing. He told them, he's like, yeah. Mom dropped her screwdriver in our poo twice. That's what she gets for dismantling our stuff. Yeah, you guys have an evil streak. You know that? You really do. Hi, y'all. Kate, Kate's Garden Chicken and Cat Rambles. So today is dismantling of the roost. There's their favorite stick and one of their favorite roosting. So, of course, I'm going to add this to the end of the video of them all laughing at me for dropping my screwdriver in their poo. The girls were outside, but as Kiva's in here on the nest box, Laddie thinks he needs to stay in here and protect her from the drills and machinery and the evil mama, who all this woman ever does is give us fresh food and water and treats. So, oh, now here comes Neve. So all the adults have to come in here. They're like, what is she doing to our apartment? So, anyway, I'll film more of this when it's done. But, you see, I've got all my tools. This is a Turbis wine carafe, which is full of um, iced tea right now. Sweetened with stevia. I'm being a good girl. This is the tile that I picked out. <clears throat> this is 18 inches wide. This is 12 inch tile. So, I'm going to be cutting some of them in half finish it. <clears throat> I decided I'm going to use a couple two fours that are laying over there on that pallet. You can probably see them in the distance. And they are both 40 inches long. So I'm thinking 20 inches is probably good enough for a roost here because I really don't want them, you know, I'm saying I don't want them banging their heads on the ceiling. I want them to be able to jump up on the roost and not worry about hitting the mesh and the wire that's up here. And, uh, Nothing can, you know, well, nothing can get to them anyway, but, so I'm going to use those to make, uh, to maybe three posts, and I'm going to attach them to a two before that's attached to these, or I might just make little, you know, uh, six inch legs on the bottom of them, I don't know, and that's going to be the roosting bar. Um, I was going to mount it to this post here, and then get some of that, uh, it's made of, I don't know if it's aluminum, it's a strong aluminum. It's this banded stuff that has little holes in it. I've used it before. It's a plumber's tool for holding like PVC pipe and stuff like that up against wall studs. But I'm working in work boots in the pajamas I slept in last night. It's cold and breezy today, so no shorts. And, um, I was going to, like I said, I was going to, I have a couple flower pot hangers I'm not using. And I was tempted to mount one there coming out, like here, and then mount one to this pole with the, uh, the metal stuff. But, you know, then I would have to devise a way to mount the boards on top. I thought about doing a long shelf, but... The more I think about it, I think I'm just going to do a perch. That way, I might have to clean off a shelf. It'll be a two before because regardless of what people say, 
chickens like at least three to four inches standing on at night. I have found that that's been their favorite. They do like their little round stick perch, but they prefer to stand on this, which is a one by three or one by two and a half. And um, because, it, you know, they can still sit flat footed and curl their little toes around the edge, but in the winter they sit on their feet and that's how they keep their feet warm. If you have chickens, you already know that, but you know, just a little. So this straw was stuffed up here in the winter just as a little insulation. I'm in the process of pulling it out too because I don't want spiders or mice or birds to make a little nest up there and have to deal with that mess. So here's Laddie doing the tool inspection. Mm -hmm. She was, when I first came in here with the tool, she started bitching. So, I mean, she was just like squawking at me like, what are you doing in here? This is a private moment, human, don't film me. I'm gonna fall asleep here, this is comfy. You are so soft, mama. But she made that noise of uh, upset that my being in here. So of course, Laddie has to come to the rescue, which is more of just walking around me doing his, he does circles me doing the little dance like he does with the hands. So I don't know if he's like saying, hey, put the tools down, let's go have some fun. Or if he's, you know, sizing me up. But of course, after the laughter, I mean, filming them laughing, they're like, oh, you thought that was funny? Well, we're gonna come back in here and get in your way like we did yesterday. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Chickens are not, especially once they're adults and they're been established and they've had this set up for uh, since last August or maybe September. So they are setting their ways. After six months, they're setting their ways and they're like, what in the hell are you doing to our apartment? Yeah, yeah. We will repay you with pecs. Yeah, thank you for your, your construction and your labor, mama. We will peck you and we'll probably poop in some of your stuff. All right, so I'm gonna end this, add this with them laughing at me and when it's all done and looks nice, then I may film it again. Bye y'all. Say bye. You say bye, laddie. Say bye. Say I'm so sexy and I know it. <laughs>